Hey guys, it's Erica, and you guys might have noticed that I have these two incredible plants right here next to me, along with some other stuff. What I'm going to be doing today is kind of doing a little bit of bug prevention for these plants. So just to kind of explain a little bit, a subscriber messaged me on Instagram to let me know that a nursery that we both go to had some Rapidophora tetraspermis there and it is so incredibly nice of her to have messaged me like <laughs> I feel so grateful like that was so nice she really did not have to do that she's the best like wow I <laughs> I was just staring at my phone like smiling talking to her because I really can't believe like how nice of her it was okay anyways <laughs> I went to the nursery and I was kind of looking around um, and I did not see any and I was like oh my gosh what if they sold out so I asked the lady there she was like are you looking for something and I was like yeah do you guys have any rapid of tetraspermas and she was like mmm are you on the wait list and I was like oh no oh no i'm about to knock at a plant because i didn't know there was a wait list i told her i wasn't and she was like uh how many did you want to buy and i told her that i only wanted one or two so she was like oh okay i have some in the back so she took me with her to like this back room in the store and there were a whole bunch of these little guys just sitting on the floor and she was like go ahead you can pick out one or two and i was like any of them she was like yep I have a lot of people on a wait list though so you can only take one or two and I was like wow I cannot believe that this lady is letting me pick out some when there is a wait list going on like that was so nice of her too and um, so of course I was looking for the best ones to find I was looking for some that had new growth or that had some like new leaves seeming to pop out you know just kind of the better the better ones that i wanted to pick out one thing that i did not check for though was bugs and once i i was sitting in my car and i was just like kind of in shock <laughs> looking at these plants because let me tell you they are so much more amazing in person than they are on camera like i did not expect them to be so gorgeous and i am so in love with them that's why <laughs> that's why i bought two like i just feel so thankful to have this plant and i'm really thankful for that one subscriber and she's amazing um anyways <laughs> so yeah i'm just i was admiring my plants in the car and i noticed that there was like webbing on the soil on the soil of one plant so i went into the nursery and i switched out I switched out a plant for one without webbing and the reason I did that is because I was so afraid I never have had spider mites I don't know 100% what they look like so I just took it in there just to make sure and I told the lady I told a lady there I was like I don't I'm I just bought this plant a little bit ago and I think it might have spider mites do you think I would be able to go trade it for a different one? And she said, yeah. So she held the plant that I thought had spider mites and she let me go choose another one in the back. And so this time when choosing out my plant, I got out my <laughs> flashlight on my camera because I did not want another plant with spider mites. And I noticed that a lot of the plants had that same webbing. Although the one that I had had a lot more than the others. I don't know how I missed it. I guess I was just too excited. And um, so I was kind of freaked out and I spent a lot of time looking for one. They had them kind of in between, in between the nodes here. So I was really afraid. I don't, I don't want pests, especially now. I don't know why, especially now, just especially never. I don't ever want pests. I don't want spider mites. I've heard that they're the worst pests out of all of them. So anyways, I was looking through with my flashlight and a lot of them had the webbing. So I was a little afraid and then I found one that didn't. But I kept one of the ones that had a lot less webbing than the others. So one of them, when I looked at it, it does not have any webbing at all. But 
they could have eggs or something and the other one does have a little bit of webbing uh, it's really hard to capture on film so I tried my best to take a picture which I'll put up here and it's not very clear but in person I see it and I'm scared <laughs> so pretty much what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna use neem oil to help these plants not have any bugs all right let me get started because <laughs> that was kind of a super long introduction after I already said let's get started but this time we're getting started I have my plants here I have kept them in isolation they have been away from all my other plants just in case it is spider mites here I have some neem oil that I bought online it is all natural no additives this is so this is 100% neem oil and I didn't want to use any neem oil that are mixed in with other ingredients because I'm just gonna make my own little um, mixture so I have a half liter of water right here I don't want to make too much of this because my spray bottle that I'm using is very tiny so I have half a liter of water in here and I'm just gonna add um, I think just one teaspoon of neem oil Oh, actually, I remember it has directions. It says, mix one fluid ounce with one gallon of water. One ounce with one gallon of water. I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so I have my half, half a liter, right? Half a liter of water, and I am going to add one teaspoon. This little thing I'm using is half. I'm measuring for half. So adding two halves makes a whole. <laughs> Just so you don't think it's weird that I'm putting two scoops in. I am also going to add in, I have this Dawn dish soap here. It says it is gentle clean. It has no bleach in it, so safe for plants. And I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of this in here so that it all can mix together better because oil and water does not mix and bugs also do not like uh, so, also this Dawn smells like pomegranate splash, so combats the smell of neem oil. I brought a spoon, but I lost it, so I'm going to continue using this tiny thing. I'm just going to mix this as best as I can. This kind of feels like a cooking show right now. <laughs> okay, so it still kind of smells a little, but that's alright, it's for the plants. And I'm just going to pour this into my spray bottle so this is a clean spray bottle that I'm adding it to oh oh no I'm spilling oh I, I hope nothing smells like me and close this in like I was saying I think that these plants might have spider mites and since I've never had spider mites before I don't know 100% for sure if it is spider mites so I'm just going to treat them as if they do have spider mites just in case. This is a beautiful plant. I bought it knowing that it might have spider mites. Like that's how much I want this plant to stay alive. So I'm going to hope that this is not on the jet. Here we go. Spray. And I'm just going to spray the tops. The tops and bottom of these leaves because the, I've been doing a lot of research on spider mites and they hang out on the underside of the leaves. One down. And this is the one that I think has the spider mites. So I'm going to set this one aside. These are not going into my like plant collection until I am 100% certain that they do not have any spider mites because that would be terrible. Imagine in the winter time when you need all your plants to be in the house together and the spider mites come to feast. So another thing that I learned about spider mites is that they love dust. So I'm gonna need to keep these plants dusted um, what else about them? They do not like humid areas. So once 
since I sprayed them, I'm not going to keep them in the sunlight because it can burn, they can get burned more easily since I have this spray on them. Um, I'm not going to keep them in a humid environment because this stuff is supposed to kind of evaporate off. Um, so I'm just going to have these guys in my kitchen on a table away, <laughs> away from all my other plants. I do not want this to spread if it is uh, spider mites. I'm really just hoping they're friendly spiders and that the spider mites have not come to feast on my plants. Uh, I'm really happy to have these plants and I'm really hoping that they're okay. So that is what I'm doing for preventative methods for my Raphidophora tetrasperma that I got. Even if these plants do not have spider mites, this kind of was a lesson for me to just check a lot more thoroughly and don't let excitement overcome me in getting a new plant that I don't check to see if there's something that I should know about the plant. So I'm really, really hoping that those were just some friendly spiders, but the reason that I thought it was spider mites is because it's really fine webbing with little specks of white. And I have a lot of spiders on my plants, like outdoors. I have a lot of um, my house plants for the summertime and they have a lot of spider webs on them and I'll just kind of, you know, take them off, free the plant a little bit, but those are not bad necessarily for the plant unless it kind of builds up to be too much for the plant. But those spiders are fine. They do not harm my plants whatsoever. Spider mites, on the other hand, I am so terrified of. Um, so I know what regular spider webs look like and these kind of did not appear to me to be regular spider webs that I see in my other plants. So just making sure. Also, side note, I think this plant might be a little bit variegated. It might not be, and I'm just being really dramatic, but I'm gonna show it to you. This leaf right here, I think is a little bit variegated. I could be wrong. I could be so dramatic. Hopefully this little treatment will keep the plant from getting any spider mites or any other bugs or maybe even eradicate ones that it might have already had. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. I just want to give another thank you to my subscriber who messaged me about these plants. Um, I think her name is Sapir. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but thank you so much again. I really appreciate it so much. Like you didn't have to go out of your way to do that. And you did and I'm just so happy. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. If you guys want to let me know any tips on how to get rid of spider mites or maybe even identifying identifying spider mites, uh, that would be super fantastic because I want to make sure these guys are bug free. And um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!